So if we can bring our hands just below the navel on the lower dantian and relax with your out breath, just settling the mind into this part of the body, the lower dantian. As you breathe out, feel that you're releasing, letting go. As you breathe in, feel that you're drawing in beautiful energy and life force into the body. And we're going to add an arm movement to this. So as you breathe in, you're receiving beautiful chi from the universe. And as the hands push down the front of the body, you're releasing all the old energy. So breathing in life force, prana, and letting go with your out breath. We just repeat that with your own rhythm of breathing. So we're consciously tuning in to receiving chi on the in-breath and letting go of all the old rubbish in our systems with the out-breath. Just focusing on beautiful, deep breathing. And for the purposes of this exercise, breathing out through the mouth and breathing in through the nose. Exhaling, letting go of tension, tightness, stress. Breathing in this beautiful light that we've got today, some of us in the South. And releasing with the out breath. One more time. And this time as the hands float down, make a triangle over your lower dantian, just breathing light into the pelvis. And just start moving in a figure of eight, this pelvic area, as you do a figure of eight infinity symbol with your hands. And we're feeling the chi, the life force around us in the air. Consciously choosing to breathe more deeply, fully in and fully out. Now gradually take those feet a little bit wider and bring your infinity symbol to earth. And again, as we connect with the energy of earth, we're inviting that beautiful earth energy, the energy of spring, to come up through our bodies as we bring our infinity symbol up. Recognizing that we're not separate as we come up to sky, just connecting with the light from the sun Again, another incredible source of energy. Welcoming the light of the sun into every cell of your body. Beautiful, and then just let that movement slow down. Bring your feet underneath your hips and your arms very relaxed by your sides. Just floppy hands. So this lower dantian here, very powerful part of our anatomy, our psychic anatomy. And we're going to feel that as we twist, we're moving from the lower dantian. So the energy of your movement comes from just below the navel. 
remembering that today we're working very, very strongly with breath. Your exhale, like a sigh. And with that sighing, ah, releasing tiredness. Releasing tension. <sighs> Beautiful. And when we work with chi, we remember that we're connecting, for example, right now with the air element of air in your room. So not just the air that's coming in through your nose, but feeling the air on your skin. And we'll move into some kidney scoops. And as you connect with the element of air, just begin to feel into the freedom of air, the expansion, the lightness of air. Beautiful. And as we squeeze the kidney one side and then the other, these are the organs that store fear in Chinese medicine. So we're just loosening up any stuck energy in the kidneys. Just in your own speed, beautiful. And then take your feet really nice and wide. And now we're coming from the lower Dantian to the energy at the heart center. And we're just expanding, opening the arms. And just do a little hippie movement. And in this gesture of openness, you're just opening again to receive that light from the sun. Beautiful and then come to stillness in the center. And this movement, we, we come to the lower Dantian and then expand, radiate your energy, come to the heart, radiate your energy. So lower Dantian, radiate, heart, radiate. And you just do this in a lovely relaxed way, heart and lower Dantian. Beautiful. And then we just bring our fingertips forward on our legs. Bend your knees a bit more deeply if that's okay for you. Roll one shoulder forward, one shoulder back and look over your shoulder if that's all right for your neck. So conscious deep breath in as you come forward and deep exhale. Lovely full deep breath in. Rolling the shoulder forward with your out breath. And as always, with all of our practices, you do what's right for your body today. So we're just present with ourselves as we are. That's beautiful. Feel this beautiful twist from the base of the spine all the way through to the crown. Aware that your breath is flowing through the spine, the shishumna. Beautiful. And then slowly come up and have a little shake. Okay, so in the... Um, in the Qigong practice, there's quite a lot of shaking. We're going to bounce on the heels like this and just let the body vibrate. So you're banging the heels on the earth. Notice if you've got any unnecessary tension in your arms. Ah. Beautiful, well done. 
Okay, now keeping your knees shaking, consciously shake your fingers, your wrists. Take them out to the side. Just flicking away. One up, one down. Beautiful. And then shimmying your bottom, a lovely shimmy shake. Shaking one leg and the other, just side to side. And then just one final all over body shake, however you want to. And as you do this, just feel into where the body might feel a bit stuck or tight. <sighs> Letting it go. So we tend to have these habitual patterns of tension in the body. I know with me, I hold a lot in my jaw. So just feel into the parts of your body where you're holding this habitual tension. And we'll just let it go. Fabulous, well done. Okay. <clears throat> so let's settle into stillness. Tuning into the energy of the mountain. So in the Peruvian teachings, they're called the Apus, the guardians of the land. So let your body stand like a beautiful great mountain. And as you breathe out, send your awareness deep into the ground. As you breathe in, the awareness comes back to your heart. As you exhale, awareness rising up through your crown into the sky above. As you breathe in, come back to your heart. And as you exhale, go deep into earth with your awareness to the core of the earth. Inhale back to your heart. Exhale out through the crown and inhale back to your heart. Beautiful. So our practice today is gonna to be very different because I want it to be all about revitalization. And just allow the body, I'm going to, to watch, allow the body just to, as you breathe out, ah, become heavy. And bring the palms of your hands by your sides. On your next inhale, raise the arms above the head. And as you breathe out, let them float down again. So with each inhale, the arms rise up. And with each exhale, they flow back down to the earth. Breathing in. And out. Tuning into the aliveness that comes in with your in-breath. Just feel that life force reaching every cell of your body. One more time. Beautiful. And then if you can bring just your right knee into your chest, so your left leg is extended straight out, right knee to chest. And as you breathe in, stretching your right knee, as you breathe out, bending it. Straightening with your in-breath. 
bending with the out breath. So you just continue with this. Your breath beautifully coordinating with your movement. And next time your knee bends, just keep it bent. Pull your thigh even closer to your body. <clears throat> And then just notice, can, is it possible to release any more tightness in the shoulders? Can the shoulders soften as you breathe out? And now bring the left knee up to the chest. Well done. So with your in-breath, you're straightening your knee. And with the out-breath, you're bending. Just reminding ourselves that this is a restful, recuperative, revitalizing practice today. So the more relaxed, we can allow our bodies to be, shoulders soft, Relaxation all through the face muscles. Next time the knee bends, just pull it into your chest, squeezing the thigh into your chest. As you continue to relax your shoulders, your face. Beautiful. And now if you can come into a frog leg position, so the soles of the feet are together. <clears throat> your hands resting on your tummy below the navel. The thumbs together, the index fingers together, so you're making a triangle. <clears throat> the yoni mudra. And just breathe naturally. So we spend quite a bit of our lives trying, doing, and as we rest here, just notice how it is to just be. The breath just naturally doing itself. The ears just naturally hearing the sounds. Your heart naturally beating. So really nothing for you to do. And continuing to rest in your being. Stillness, even when we move. Bring your feet up into the air with your hands under your bottom. And you're just resting your legs as though you're standing on the ceiling. Beautiful, well done. And again, we're cultivating simple beingness. 
effortlessness. Just noticing present and continuing to be in a really relaxed state just rotate your ankles you may find occasionally like my breath then just did a really deep breath i didn't do it it did it if you know what i mean so let your breathing just naturally do what it needs to do but you're not controlling it and then with your next exhale release the hands from under your bottom bend your knees bring your heels close to your bottom Just check that the back of your neck's long, your shoulders are wide and relaxed. And we're going to, in slow motion, tuck the tail under and move up into a bridge. Again, resting as stillness as you move. Just watching any movement in the mind, any thoughts. Slowly peeling the back down to the earth again, vertebra by vertebra. And repeat that a few times. So you're going up and down into bridge feeling the beautiful prana, the chi, the life force. Now we're going to move into a twist. So you raise your right knee, hold it with the left hand, pull it across the body. And each time you exhale, just notice that natural Letting go with the out breath. How the body automatically softens as you breathe out. Engage the core, hug both knees up to your chest. And then we do exactly the same thing on the other side. So left knee being pulled across by right hand. And your exhale is a deep releasing, letting go. And then taking your time, bring yourself onto your tummy with your legs wide apart so that your heels are turned in, your toes are turned out. And your forehead is just resting 
on your hands. So you're in the macrasin, the crocodile. And just have a little wiggle of your bottom. And when we roll on the sacrum, it just gives the nervous system a message to relax. So just wiggling the bottom if that feels good. Taking lovely deep breaths. Softening the belly. And then gradually let the body settle to stillness as you bring your feet closer together now, hip distance apart. And then bring yourself up into a sphinx posture. So the invitation throughout our practice today is that everything we do, we do in a relaxed way. So feel into the sphinx. You can bring your hands up to support the weight of your head, keeping the back of your neck long. And as you breathe out, just relaxing into the position. And we're just going to focus the awareness between the eyebrows, just above the eyebrows in the Ajna center, the third eye. Every time you breathe out, softening down through the belly into earth. Listening to your body, always moving towards what you need. So you can come out of the posture earlier if you need to. Awareness in the Ajna. Now from here, take your time to come up to a wide leg, so, you, so your knees are wide and you're stretching forward into a extended child, Pindasan. And as you hold your Pindasan, forehead to the ground, just continue with your beautiful, natural, effortless breathing. Softening the belly to the ground, softening the heart to the ground in your pindasan. And you can creep your fingertips over to the right side, just creeping over to the right, stretching under the left arm, down the left side. Breathing naturally. And then you can creep over to the other side. Just stretching under the right arm, down the right side. And then with your next exhale, bring yourself up to sitting. You may want to place a cushion under your bottom, just something to help tip the pelvis. So you're sitting in a cross-legged position. Close your eyes. When you're ready, once again, bring focus to the Ajna center. And 
receiving the chant. So we're consciously choosing to relax into effortlessness, ease, And let's see if this can still happen as we move into some stronger stretches. So you're gonna move your leg out to the side, just in a way that's comfortable to you. So we're here. Palms of your hands facing down on your legs. The awareness is in the lower dantian, just below the navel, three fingers underneath the navel. navel. And you're just spiraling the body. So the ancient yogis understood that we're not separate from the universe, from life. So even when we're doing something as simple as this, we can be aware that the earth, the aliveness of earth, is coming up through our bodies, just like all the trees, the plants, we're receiving energy from the earth. So take a lovely deep breath in, stretching to sky, opening to the light. and then softening over to the side in a lovely ah, relaxation. Now next time you come up, be aware that you're receiving energy from the sun the fire of the sun energizing your body. Stretch all the way up and then reach forward. So we're coming, extending the back forward. And as you breathe out, let the whole of the neck soften. Your out breath carrying away all kinds of energy that's blocked in your body. So it releases, the out breath releasing. <sighs> well done, slowly coming up. Changing legs. And when you're ready, beginning the circling from your lower dantian, just below the navel. Just tuning into the earth, not as a separate entity, but that our body is the earth that we are the earth, we are nature. And just like nature, we have our seasons and our cycles. The Western mind has got a bit attached to being busy, to achieving, to being happy. But nature teaches us that everything has its place. Okay, so from here, we're gonna stretch up really nice and tall, breathe in, and then move into side bend, just in a way that's comfortable to your body. So we're opening up all down the side. And once again, is it possible to be in effortless flow with this? 
On your next in-breath, open your hands to sky. Inviting the fire of the sun, the light of the sun to energize, revitalize. Beautiful, stretching all the way up and coming forward into a lovely long forward bend. Just relaxing down. When you feel ready, you can bring yourself up to sitting in the cobbler, so the soles of the feet together. And with your thumbs, you're going to just intuitively massage the feet. So I'm hoping that the practice today is slow enough that you can just be simply present with yourself as you are. Just enjoy. As we relax, we tune into our inner knowing, our intuition. Rub your hands together. And I invite you to tune into what part of your body might like to receive the warmth, the healing energy from your hands. Just pop your hands wherever you intuitively feel. Receiving the goodness. And then one more time, creating some heat in your hands. And just intuitively placing your hands wherever feels good. So we're going to do a practice that um, is on the knees. So you might want to have a cushion for under your knee if it's going to hurt your knee. I'll show you what we're doing. So we're coming into this position. So if you do want to help yourself to a cushion just to support your knee. And remember that we're aiming to stay in effortlessness. <clears throat> So find a way to be comfortable here in the runner. Bring both your hands onto the, maybe I'll show you this way, both your hands onto the inside of the foot and just let yourself relax forward. Coming down as far as is comfortable for you. Beautiful. When you're ready, change sides. Notice what's happening with your breath. Just let the breath release.
and then move into cat stretch, macrasan. Sorry, that's crocodile. <sighs> so on your exhale, rounding your back. On your inhale, arching the back. And again, reminding yourself that you're just a tiny part of the wholeness of the universe, interacting with all the elements. Keeping your cat flow going through the spine. And it's really nice to visualize as you arch the back, light flowing up from the base of the spine to the crown. And then as you round the back, light flowing down from crown to base. So with the arching of the back, the light flows from base to crown. And with the out breath, light flows from crown to base. And then intuitively, just let your spine move in snake-like movements. Remembering that the neck is an extension of the spine, so include the neck in the movement. And you're freeing up the energy in your spine. So in the pranic anatomy, there's the shashumna, which is the, um, can only be seen by psychics. It's, it's the channel in which the pranic energy flows. So just feel that you're loosening up the spine your breath flowing through the spine as you make these snaky movements. Well done. And then from there, move into dog. Trying to, well, not trying, <laughs> not the right word. So stay relaxed. Now for people who are feeling tired exhausted. The dog is a beautiful revitalizing posture. So I invite you to hold it as long as feels good for your body and keep resting on the knees or child between. So trusting what's right for your body with resting and then coming back to dog. And there's a lovely visualization of imagining light coming up from the feet to the tailbone with your in-breath and from the tailbone out through the crown with your out-breath. So awareness comes up backs of legs to the tail with your in-breath. Awareness flows from tail to crown with your out-breath. With your next out breath, <clears throat> take your time to bring yourself up to standing. And we're going to practice Pritvi Namaskar, the earth sequence.
So soles of your feet opening to the earth. Just really feeling that connection from earth into your body as you draw your hands up to your throat. With the exhale, pushing down from Vishuddhi to earth. Inhale, palms to sky. Exhale, watching the hands float down in your peripheral vision. So inhale to throat. Exhale, pushing down. Inhale, sky. Exhale, watching the hands in your peripheral vision come down. So as you push down, feel that you're clearing your energy, clearing blockages in your energy. And let light flow down from the sun through you and around you. Clearing, cleansing, releasing, freeing yourself. And standing in a beautiful shower of light. One more time. Clearing, releasing. And then you turn so that you've got one leg forward, one leg back. And again, the hands come up to your throat. As you push down, releasing into the earth all that no longer serves you. As you breathe in, coming to sky. And as you breathe out, transfer the weight onto the back foot, lowering the arms. Up to throat. And release to earth. Opening to sky and feeling that light pouring down through you and around you. Beautiful. One more time. Releasing to earth. Opening to sky. And light flowing through you and around you. And then we turn to the other side. Breathing up to your throat. Pushing down into earth, up to sky, breathe in. Standing in a shower of beautiful, healing, energizing light. Just one more time. And then with your feet wide, come up to Vishuddhi, the throat, cleansing your energy as you bring all the, um, the whole body down to earth, up to sky, and standing in that shower of healing light. Beautiful. So we give back to the earth all that no longer serves us. So she can compost, transform. One more time. Beautiful. So I'd, I'll give you a minute or so to get yourself set up for meditation. So however's comfortable for you, either sitting on the floor or on a chair, the elements. And in the yoga tradition, we use different fingers to connect us with the elements. So this finger, the ring finger, is your earth finger. So if you can just bring your earth finger together and we'll do it in front of the heart. 
close your eyes. And in your own way, just intuitively tune into Earth, our beautiful planet. Feeling into the energy of our planet, the, the oceans, the rivers, the land. And then tuning into yourself, your own body, the earth of your body. So you're just feeling the solidity of your body. If your hands get tired being up at your heart, you can just let them rest in your lap, that's fine. Just do what's right for you. And just open to receiving blessings from our beautiful planet, our beautiful mother, Pachamama, Mother Gaia. Receiving her nourishment. Beautiful. So now keeping your earth fingers together, you bring the baby fingers together as well now. And your baby fingers represent the element of water. So just let your hands rest wherever feels good for you. with gratitude to the element of water, the flow of water. Remembering the rivers, the streams, the seas, the vast, vast oceans. And just feeling into the water of your body, the flow of your blood, your lymph. And the water element is also associated with our emotional body, the Manamaya Kosha. So as you take a moment to listen to your emotions, listen to any feelings that are here, welcoming every feeling, every emotion that comes. Beautiful, no resistance to ourselves. And then you can, keeping those four fingers together, bring your thumbs together as well now. And our thumb represents fire, the element of fire. So let's just tune into fire, fire, the fire of the sun that warms our planet, that lights our planet. The fire that cleanses and purifies and burns to the ground, anything that no longer serves us, we can give it to the fire. And just notice what is sparking your enthusiasm at the moment, what do you feel passionate about at the moment? What lights you up? What, what, yeah, what awakens your fire?
and how is the balance of your fire today? Today, obviously I decided to do a really restful practice because so many people were telling me they were tired. I had so many people saying, I'm exhausted, I'm tired. So yeah, where are you? You might, you might, might not be, not everybody is. But where are you in the balance of your energy? Are you feeling, you know, like Tigger, bouncy and lively, or are you feeling a bit tired? Or, or maybe you're somewhere in the middle. So now we bring the index fingers together. And our index fingers represent the element of air. So tuning into the air as it comes into your body, the air flowing into your nostrils, down into your lungs. <clears throat> and just watch that passage of breath in and out. That absolutely natural giving and receiving of breath. And when we really journey with our breath, we can see that when we breathe in, the air becomes our personal breath. And then as we breathe out, our personal breath goes out into the universe, joins with the whole again. And as you focus on your breathing a little while longer, I'm going to read you a little bit about pranayama, the breath. So the word pranayama consists of two parts, prana and ayama. Ayama means stretch or extend and describes the action of pranayama. Prana refers to that which is infinitely everywhere. With reference to us humans, prana can be described as something that flows continuously from somewhere inside us, filling us and keeping us alive. It is vitality. In the ancient texts, they tell us that someone who's troubled, restless or confused has more prana outside the body than within. The amount of prana outside the body is greater when we feel unwell. At those times, the quality of prana and its density within the body is reduced. Too little prana in the body can be expressed as feelings of being stuck or restricted. It can also show as a lack of drive or motivation to do anything. We can even be listless or depressed. We may suffer from physical ailments when prana is lacking in the body. So everything we've done today has helped welcome more chi, prana, aliveness into our bodies. And let's now bring the um, middle finger together so all our fingers are together now. <clears throat> and I'm just going to turn the music really low now, really quiet. <clears throat> So as you feel into this middle finger, we're tuning into the element of ether. Ether being the space between everything. So as we watch our breathing, we can notice the space in which breathing happens. And as you focus on the physical body, you can notice the space around you, but also the space within you. It's not a separate thing. We have space inside and outside.
We can notice the space in which the thoughts arise, the vast, infinite space in which all thoughts can just come and go. So we'll bring this Hakini Mudra up to the heart and we'll just open the fingers so you're making the triangle mudra and just take this triangle up above the crown and it's facing downwards and you just imagine light from the sun from the sun beyond the sun pouring down in through the crown of your head your sahasra chakra And as you bring the triangle in front of your ajna, your brow center, imagine light flowing into the third eye, connecting you to the higher mind, the Vignaya Maya Kosha, the wise mind. Bringing the triangle to your throat, to the chakra, the Vishuddhi, the throat chakra. Light pouring through the throat area. And bringing the triangle over your heart, feeling light flowing through the heart, the Anahata chakra. And then your triangle points down as you come over your solar plexus, your Manipura chakra. Imagine the radiant light of the sun filling your Manipura, your personal power center, empowering you so you can radiate your light, shine in the world. And then bringing that triangle down over your sacral center the center of your creativity, your sexuality, breathing light into your pelvis. And finally, let the triangle come to the very base of the spine, the um, Muladhara chakra, the base chakra. Breathing light into the base of the body. Beautiful. Hmm. Okay. So we have time for a relaxation now. If you'd like to get your bodies ready 